Major police hunt is underway for an armed man who targeted women in a crime spree across Sydney's northwest yesterday. Our reporter Brooke Chandler joins me now from one of the crime scenes in North Mead. Brooke, what happened? It all started about four o'clock yesterday morning with police receiving several reports of a man trespassing at homes in North Mead. Now, about an hour later, a white SUV was allegedly stolen from this service station behind me in North Mead, while the 37-year-old owner was inside the store. Around 10 minutes later, that same car stopped by a 47-year-old woman who was walking along Mons Road in North Mead. And that's where police say the man aged in his 20s stole her bag as she tried to run away. Now, by 5.40 this same morning, this crime spree continues with the man attempting to steal a 19-year-old woman's bag in Toon Gabby. That's where police allege that the man produced a knife before taking off with her bag. Uh, now, the next time police receive reports of this man was a short time later, but in Parramatta this time, where a 27-year-old woman was allegedly struck on the shoulder with a hammer being held by the man. Her phone and purse were taken, and two of her relatives actually tracked her phone to an intersection in North Rocks. And a fight broke out between those two relatives and the man after he allegedly smashed their windscreen with the hammer that he was holding upon arrival. Now, police have actually seized this white SUV that the man allegedly used for this crime spree. And there were no serious injuries from all the women involved. So they're now recovering from this incredible ordeal at home. Yeah, indeed. And what's the focus going to be of police today, Brooke? So, so far, the riot squad police unit and police helicopter have so far um, been unable to locate the man. Uh, police have told me that they are aiming to release footage of him as they appeal to the public for help. They believe that he may offend again and allege that he may have been involved in break-ins from two days before as well. As I mentioned, it's believed that the man is in his 20s and was wearing all black clothing, including a black balaclava, gloves and shoes. And police are urging anyone who spots him today not to approach him and to instead contact Crime Stoppers.